How do acids and bases react with metals? Let us first take and see how acids react with metals. We take an example of uh, a metal, say zinc. Then we'll react it with an acid, say sulfuric acid. And when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid, we get zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. So the zinc is in a solid state. This is zinc, which is a metal. It then reacts with sulfuric acid, which is an aqueous state. Aqueous means dissolved in water. So here we have sulfuric acid. It's dilute. It then reacts to form zinc sulfate. Zinc sulfate is a salt. And hydrogen gas is given out. So we put here G because it is a gas. Here we put AQ because it aqueous. So this is hydrogen gas. It's not only zinc. Let us take another example. Example magnesium. Magnesium will react say with HCl, hydrochloric acid, to give you magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. So again this is solid. This is an aqueous state because it is dissolved in water. This is an aqueous state also and this is gaseous. So in general we can now say when a metal reacts with an acid we get salt plus hydrogen gas. This is a salt and we get hydrogen gas. This is an activity to show the reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid. So we have here this, uh, the, here the zinc granules and to this zinc granules dilute hydrochloric acid is added. Uh, dilute sulfuric acid is added in this case. This is sulfuric acid. So we have zinc plus sulfuric acid, a metal with an acid. We know we will get zinc sulfate plus hydrogen because it, what actually happens is zinc displaces hydrogen. Here zinc displaces hy uh, hydrogen from the acid and gives us hydrogen gas. Now this hydrogen gas here is the hydrogen gas you can see little bubbles of hydrogen gas. Now how do we know it's hydrogen gas? How do we test hydrogen gas? For this we bring a splinter like it's done here a splinter and the gas then burns with a pop sound thus indicating it is hydrogen gas. And it's not only sulfuric acid. When a metal reacts with any acid, you get hydrogen gas. So, however, if it is a weak acid, if a metal reacts with a weak acid, and let me t give an example like acetic acid. This is a weak acid. It's a vinegar that we have in our homes. We will get less hydrogen, less evolution of hydrogen. However, if a metal now reacts with a strong acid, we've taken the strong, uh, yeah, strong acid, we will get large amount of hydrogen. So the amount of hydrogen gas evolved depends on one of the point is it depends on the acid. Strong acid will give us a large amount of hydrogen and a weak acid will give us a less amount of hydrogen. Now we'll see what happens when a metal reacts with a base. For an example, we'll take metal zinc. It reacts with a base, say NaOH. You will get s sodium zincate. 
plus hydrogen. So a metal like zinc with sodium hydroxide we get sodium zincate. Plus hydrogen gas. Another point to remember is this reaction is not possible with all metals. That means all metals will not react with bases.